What is up guys, Junior's Geckos here, coming back with another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, a lot of people want to know what Purple Head is, um, where it came from. So today in this video we're going to be talking about Purple Heads and we're going to show you the variation that occurs with Purple Heads. I already filmed this video, but sadly I was clearing out files because I couldn't upload it and then I deleted it and it just didn't want to work. So let's jump into it. Alrighty, so what is Purple Head? So Purple Heads are basically, it's just like a branding name, but Purple Heads really um, identify them or the line as a lavenderish tangerine line, right? So Purple Heads consist of gecko genetics. You can check all these information out on, um, I won't do all these poppy things like check here, look here, here's a photo. I won't do all that, but... You can check it on geckoboa.com on the genetics page really in depth what how he bred purple heads but i'll just put it in my definition of what i'm understanding um because this line is really new to me i've only had the line existing in in my collection for two years now um but um you know purple heads consist of gecko genetics um everybody say gecko genetics and mandarins are the same thing i'm not sure on that john believes that whatever um you know skikes emerines um pacific greens and i'll show you some pacific greens um and bloodlines right so typically john does a lot of outcrossing does a lot of crossing um you know testing bloodlines just the same thing i've i'm trying to do now um and he first hatched out a unique gecko back in 2010 i want to believe um and me and him talked over the phone too as well. So the creator of the Morph, obviously, is John Scarborough over at Gecko Boa. Check that website out. Pretty cool stuff, always. Um, he never disappoints. But um, so basically, the line started, well, he didn't know it was a line yet or he didn't intend on whatever. So back in 2010, he really hatched out a unique gecko that he then started breeding and, you know, passing along and really working the line in the way he wanted to go so um originally he just would call them lavender tangerines but sasselbeck over i mean sorry uh matt over at sasselbeck reptiles really gave him um that nickname really would always talk to john and be like oh what's up with those purple heads you know so that's really where the name came from but it's really just a byproduct of lavender tangerines right um Purple heads, what I'm noticing so far with purple heads is the line and the look of the line really seem to act dominant. And I'll get into that right now. Um, meaning, like, if I would cross a purple head to maybe, let's say, an electric tangerine or a clown or so be it, whatever, I can replicate that look within a year, like just one one generation. Which is pretty cool, right? Which is pretty cool. Um, you can get your look. You can really see where the project goes for you faster in that way. Um, not saying it's a dominant gene, but I'm just saying it's like I've replicated the look off of one crossing so far. Um, I only paired, only did one purple head pairing last year, and I replicated the look almost as you can kind of tell where the difference is, but it kind of still has similarities. Um, but like with every line, there is different. Um, you know, there's different looks to them. I mean, they, it'll be a certain line, but they're still different. You know, they, they come out with so many variants, just like clowns, really. Um, so let's get into some, and I'll show you some and really, like, compare. Um, so let's look at our first male that we ever got. Um, shout out to Suburban Geckos. Pretty cool guy, too, but, um, his purple head's definitely got to step it up. I'm just kidding. Just kidding, Chris. Um, like he'll ever watch his video. <laughs> But this is our first purple head male that we got in. Um, typically, this is what a lot of breeders that work with purple head with, will release. Um, I think Gecko Boa is really the only website you can really find good quality purple heads right now. Um, just meaning because that's the line creator, right? Um, and I think purple heads really, a lot of people just get it for the line. And they don't really try to breed it in a way where they perfect the look. They just really outcross it, put it into other projects and don't really try to really keep the unique uniqueness of the um purple heads but like just like with black knights right you peer to peer you can sometimes get light animals sometimes dull so that's the same thing with every line um this male is not really a great male but 
the reason I like him or love him, sorry, is he has that purple head distinction right there, right? He's just allowing it. Look at him. He's not even. This is one of my chillest mail I think I've I've ever owned. He doesn't run. He lets me do anything to him. Like I can do all kinds of things to him. He just he allows it. He's cool. Um, I think the only time he's really agitated, and I won't bother him too much because I'm about to pair him up again. But this is really like really like maybe a standard four i would say in my opinion of purple heads he still has the color uh meaning like he really has like some shadow coloring going on with him so i really like him for that um let's put him back because he is like he just hates being bothered when he's about to be paired um and then another i'll show you so that's like really a great four like i said um and then in my previous video i showed you this female um which is like a great 10 for me. She's been moody lately, so I think she's going to start ovulating pretty soon. Um, but she's just been screaming at me. I'll, well, let's see. I bet you she screams right now. No. What? She didn't scream. <laughs> but um, this is like a great 10 purple head. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain why. So typically when you're looking for purple heads, right? Oh, she just screamed at me. Um, typically when you're looking for purple heads... Um, if you want your first generation to really have color, you have to go for color, right? With every line, the first generation. I mean, not all. It doesn't apply to always, um, but it's a good step to really head. Um, like a lot of people always say, invest in your breeders. It is important to invest in your breeders because, I mean, yeah, you can purchase the line and get the co the project in your hands. But typically, if you don't invest in your first year breeders or your first year generation, you're not really going to get the looks that you want second, third year. You know what I mean? So um, this is why I'm not really too mad about my males that I do have in my possession right now, just because I know my females are really capable, what they're capable of, um, especially my first year breeder. I, I mean, second year breeder, I know her and she does some good stuff. But the color is 10 times better in person, I promise you. Um, she has like a lot of burnt red going on. And then, of course, the patterning, right? Um, the patterning is like on point with this gecko. I l absolutely love this gecko. This gecko is like, and she's like fat right now just because I really power feed. I don't power feed a lot of my geckos, only if I intend to breed them that year. And she made the cut when I got her. And um, yeah, sadly, she is a fatty now. Um, so basically that's like a great 10 right so um i don't want to make it like make you guys think like every, like i'm trying to like really be like oh yeah this gecko is whack or anything i'm just like explaining like the looks of purple heads right because i have a certain look um it's not always color for me um it's more a pattern um so let's show you another this would be like maybe a grade seven for me female wise um and i'll show you why and i'll explain why um She's such a sweetheart, too. I mean, damn, bro. She's smashing food. Her food bowl's already empty. <laughs> she's so tiny. Okay. Anyways, don't talk about my geckos like that. What's wrong with you? But anyways, this is a great set. Like I said, it's hard to pick up color on camera. Um, but how, how, what you just, your, what do you think her color is right now? Just looking at her. Uh, really dark. Dark what? Red. Okay. So... Of course, it's picking up a little bit on camera, but it, I promise you it's a lot more red in person. She is a grade 7 just because I, it's the patterning for me, right? I'm looking over here and the camera's over here. Um, it's the patterning for me, right? But, I mean, she's an outstanding gecko. She, I'll tell you why, though. This is why, going back to my male, right, why I love her, the purple head spot, right? I think she and him are the only ones that really have that distinctive spotting right there, and that's what I love. That just that just really like when you say oh this is a purple head and you look at them that just really defines that kind of name you know what I mean purple head you got purple spots right at the head um, so she's a she's a little smaller she's a little she's slow a yeah she's slow growing um, but I mean just looking at her color right now as a baby imagine when she gets to adult size okay go back in there you go I'm not kidding you dude I literally when did we clean last I think I cleaned Friday I cleaned and I put a whole bunch of mealworms in this i don't know like last week monday i think and then i cleaned friday when i was off but anyways like how she is smashing food she is no joke um so i know she'll be growing here soon um 
What do I want to show you? Okay, so now let's jump into what I was saying, how the line um, can act kind of dominant with the patterning and the genetic strains on that. Um, so here's a female I produced. She's kind of riled up because I've been bothering her. Like I said, I already recorded this video, but I was cleaning out files because I didn't have space, and I deleted them, and the software that I'm using to really like fix these videos and render them up didn't like that they were deleted and not in my files so they're like yeah you can't upload it but anyways cool um so this is a female that i produced last year um she is a per she's 50 percent purple headline and she's 50 percent clown line right so mom and dad were 100 percent. well mom is a pure purple head and dad is a og as we see original lineage clown from gecko boa as well two gecko boa geckos that bred together and made some fire hints um but yeah this is what i produced last year and like i said it was to a clown and i don't have the dad anymore i sold him sadly um due to some issues we had a lot of issues last year with space and like just a lot of personal issues so a lot of geckos that i did have that were really nice for me really had to get sold didn't really but it helped out um so her dad was like super super yellow like clowns are really like a marine color um i'll really i'll show you one of my clown males that literally looks identical to him the only thing that this male that i have now has way more spotting than him but this is literally what the dad looked like exact same thing this is what the dad look at the difference in color this is what the dad looked like right um i won't show you the female but everybody knows my first purple head female, right? If you've been following me for that long. Um, she just laid the other day, so I really don't want to bother her. Or today, actually, she laid, right? Yeah, she laid. No, she laid yesterday, sorry. Um, but her mom was like, a, you know. So, I mean, the color that translated over is not too bad first gen. Um, and then let's show you the purple head male this year that we're using. Really excited about this. Um see if i can get him on camera if he doesn't flip out on me so look at the color look at the patterning look at the color you can kind of see the difference right so this is a cross this is a pure purple head right just look the only thing that we're lacking really in the cross is the color right so you kind of see where i'm talking about look at the spottings on the side spottings on the side right on the head on the head so you kind of see what i mean where the huh no, I'm going to put him up anyway because he's already acting like a douche. Always going everywhere. I mean, he is fresh to the game. Um, but you can kind of see where I'm talking about where it I you can duplicate it in first generation, which is cool. That's one thing that a lot of people don't talk about. If you cross purple heads, not like I don't I don't want to say this because I've like I said, this was like last year was my first season really breeding purple heads. Um, but I mean, that's pretty cool to replicate, replicate the look already. Right. And the dad wasn't even a, a purple head. It was a clown. Right. So that's what I mean where that, the line I'm thinking in my head that the line really acts dominant. Like as in, you know, the traits are a lot, they've, they've, uh, what's the word I would use? Polygenet, poly, poly, poly dominant or something. I don't know. Meaning that it's, it's a line bed trait that has, that acts dominant. Right. Uh, um, excuse me um but yeah that's pretty cool like i said that's cool and i'm gonna be testing that this year um that's why i chose to really cross a lot of my purple head stuff to like normal stuff um she's breeding or she was breeding i don't want to bother her um she's been look how many times she's been paired. poor <laughs> thing um i can show you her mom her mom just laid last night slash this morning she looks pissed already because i've been bothering her all day but her daughter looks exactly like that actually let's show her daughter off it's all right um no i won't do that because I, I she's been stressed out enough um so we're testing to a lot of geckos like that like just different tangerine lines that's electric i got some tango crest stuff um you know i got a male that's purple that's supposed to be het free so I might be taking that to some bell, but I just had I haven't had the line long enough, so I won't really try and test bell stuff. Yeah, check it out. Can you see him on camera? Always coming out and peeking. <laughs> that male is a pain in the ass. Every, look, <laughs> this is like one of my first males that I ever had. Oh my god, dude, he got some big old nuts. Or, look at that. He does. Look at the size on those things. This is a 
a weird if if you we've talked I mean people know I talk about this gecko a lot. He is I don't know what he is. Um the pairing was a blizzard to a blizzard and he hatched out white with red eyes, so I do want to get a Diablo Blanco or a, a um SSE to really like test him, but I want pied stuff. So that's why I kinda sold my um my um super snow eclipse stuff this year is because the ones that I did have weren't the best growers, um, weren't the best eaters, and, like, I really don't have time, like, I tell people, I really don't have time to really, like, come down and, like, you know, put 100% into the ones that can't eat all the time, or don't eat all the time, um, I just, I'm just too busy, I only have one life to live, like I say, let me live it, um, yeah, so I just really don't have time, and, like, I feel bad when I can't, like, really put that much time into them, it's not because I don't want to. It's literally I just don't have time. Um, and so I usually choose people. Um, I don't sell them to anybody if they're in that condition. I sell them to people who I know will do the job and translate over. So um, it's not because I can't. like, or I, I mean, it's not because I don't want to. It's because I literally just, I'm stretched. I'm only one person. I can only do so much. Um, you know, meaning I'm doing school, work, um, and then you're like in between of where you know, the more time you take off, the more school work you can get done. But the more time you take off, the less money you have to pay your bills, your personal bills. So, like, it's, like, in that mix where I'm juggling and it's just, like, I, you know, it's just stressful. Um, but, yeah, that's, like, what the Purple Heads are going to... And I want to make a part two, really, when I get more hatchings from Purple Head Crosses and Purple Heads to Purple Heads. Um, but, like I said... This is like my first year really going to be testing out purple heads to the fullest. Last year was just, I think, one pairing, right? Yeah, one pairing literally for purple heads. Um, one? Yeah, I remember Gypsy and, and um, Jimbo. They were the only two that she was the clown. He was a clown and the purple head was, was Gypsy. The mm. only damn pairing I did. But yeah, um, that was purple head at least. Um, so, de- don't mind my hair. It's crazy. Um... <laughs> So definitely, I'm going to make a part two, like I said. Um, really put that out soon. Um, hopefully, we get. I think my first Purple Head clutch is due within this week or next week, um, which I'm pretty excited about. I did have two eggs. One died off, actually. Just really turned blue. Like, the red veins turned blue. I was like, uh, what? Okay, so that's not going to make it. But the other egg is, like, going to hopefully make it. We won't say it's going to make it because... They always go to full term and then they just die. Yeah, so, and then we're about to pair up back our purple head female because she, like, skipped the whole month. She laid one clutch, skipped the whole month. She's literally, it's been, like, 30 like thirty days, and then she laid again. And then they weren't even, they didn't even look fertile. So I'm going to about to pair up again if she wants to. Um, the but, veins are blue too, right? Huh? The veins are blue? No, they just didn't even have, like, any bullseyes or anything. But um, I wanted to show you what a... Like what really Pacific Green is a part of Purple Head lineage too. So what I'm doing this year, we'll talk about this female just because she is insane. Look at the red. Well, you can't really see it, but my eyes tell me, damn boy. But she's like chunky too. Like look at look at her feet. They're like fat, dude. Like she needs a diet. Um, her feet are really fat. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I feed her normally, and she like she doesn't even. Well, not even that. Like she doesn't even tear it up. Like she. Like, this is the amount I still have left. I mean, she doesn't need no more, but, I mean, within a week time, she'll be done. What I also love about her, too, I'll show her off if she doesn't piss on me, because she loves to piss on me. <laughs> Look at the orangeness on that belly. It's insane. But this is a Pacific Green Clown Cross. So what I'm thinking is to add that to the Purple Heads again. Um, cross that to Purple Head and really um, see how that introduction with the per- the PG goes again she is not ovulating which i'm not mad because i'm actually happy because i got a lot of pairings going on right now and i like need a break from really trying to pair every day um but yeah so tomorrow we're gonna be filming the cypher video stay tuned for that um we're gonna explain the genetics um i'm not 100 percent sure because i just got her um and i just got able to add the cypher but from what my knowledge of reading and um, we'll ex- ex- we'll explain that and we'll show you the cipher and re- really like explain what's going on and how it occurred 
Um, I'm not a scientist, so like, bear with me. I may say shit that's wrong, and I may say shit that make not makes no sense. But whatever. Um, we'll do it anyway. So we're gonna make a cipher video, and then I'm also thinking about doing a rack video next. So make sure to stay tuned, subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram at Juniors Geckos, Facebook at Juniors Geckos. Watch this video, share it, like it, do whatever you gotta do. Cool beans. And always, thank you for the support. What you got to say? She ain't got shit to say. Goodbye.